What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and so I'm actually going to be showing you how to make the interior for the first floor of your Hello Neighbor Alpha 1 neighbor house. This, including the fence and car and mailbox as well, those will be shown today. So I forgot to show those in depth and... It's <coughs> <coughs> just a little awkward. Um, I don't have a ton to say, I'm showing it here. Uh, second floor should hopefully be out this week, although if something goes horribly wrong and it doesn't happen, I apologize because I gotta get some weird timing with that. But hopefully it should be out and, um, yeah, that's really all I have time to say more. But I really am gonna just leave you in silence, unfortunately, for a little bit here. Because I don't know the exact time, Da Vinci's weird. But anyhow, yeah, that being said, enjoy the tutorial and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space room for this is, well, you kind of do need space this time. You need a 45 by 60. Now, I should have hopefully, or preferably you should have punched out the corners of the grid. I'm not going to rely on that. I find it mean to be like, oh yeah, you need your grid, by the way. Um, especially on the second thing of this, considering the marking and, you know, all that fancy stuff. So, like, you know, it's just better to do it from the get-go so you need materials and for the outside we're gonna start off with birch fence to finish off. Um, smooth quartz slabs mangrove signs and you kind of need a bunch of materials for the car and there's also actually another thing we need but i'm not going to be concerned about that at this room don't have a good picture of the car there's one uh red concrete That's not even red concrete. It's sick. I'm struggling here. Give me a second. Uh, blocks of iron. I'm still struggling. Mangrove buttons. Oh, I know where those are at least, or I can get them quickly. Quicklier. White wool. Glass pans. And I guess we'll get out the polished deep slate stair that goes on the inside. There's going to be some weird things that will happen when we're making the car, but I'm not going to be concerned about those for now. But you have this smooth stone thing at the garage, and you want to come to this, and you want to come to the front left-hand corner. From this corner, you want to count forward by four, and left by two, and going left, you want to place... I don't know this number, hold on. Thirteen birch fence. Like so. Then go back with 56. Check this number real quick. Then go across the back with 40. Forward with, frig, I forgot the number again, hold on. I think it was 54, though, let me confirm this, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, no, 56 forward. And then left with 12 birch fence. I don't know why I specifically specified it there. Anyway, that's your fence. And uh, it's kind of all, well, it's not really all the space you need because we need to go more forward for the mailbox, which, and I think the car as well, which we'll do the mailbox next. So there's also some weird things I think that happen with the car. Yeah. Um, so from the further, from this kind of where you have the big gap in the middle, obviously, you want to come to the right side of that gap and you want to find the, this first birch fence. You want to count forward, two from right and left, one, and place another birch fence. Bring that said fence up with a smooth cord slab and place a mangrove sign with just nothing on it on the right side of that. Fun. Now to start off the car, some weird things happen. That's not exactly, okay. So, the garage has a center that the car will fit nicely in. 
So it'll be these three blocks at the back, and you'll just place three red concrete, like, oopsies, like so. Going across, or left to right. And uh, in line with those middle three smooth stone. Now, what I would recommend is that each bottom red concrete, you should break under and also replace this grass with a red concrete. It's for the grass paths, because you'll have that little half a block gap that's visible, and it's really annoying, so get rid of it. Uh, and then either side, you want to bring forward with a block of iron. Again, make sure you break in the ground. Two red concrete, me forgetting to break into the ground. A block of iron, and then a red concrete. And then you can connect together at the front. Uh, in the middle red concrete, you can bring it back by two, and then a polished deep slit stair, and then another red concrete, I guess, at the back, if you really want it. I actually might have made one small mistake, although I can't... No, I didn't. Okay, never mind. I didn't know if I put a, anything in the front center there, but I didn't. Off of the uh, blocks of irons, at least on the like left and right faces, you want to place mangrove buttons. You don't want one on your red concrete, because that's stupid. And then, uh, I guess, to finish off the set we have, in line with the back tires, which are these blocks of irons here, you want to place a row of white wool that goes across the car. Bring it. F bring the left and right white wools forward with two glass panes, and then connect the front middle ones together with more glass panes. The buttons here on the back, I feel like are acacia. Let me confirm that if they're ac actually no, there might not be any. Yeah, there's not. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I would assume there would have been, but. That makes sense, I guess, that there isn't. There's some, again, there's some weird things that'll happen, so, uh, just... It's glitchy. Uh, you can clear inventory and get out white carpet, red carpet, mangrove trap doors, red nether brick slabs, birch buttons, and... You need either string, structure voids, or barriers. I'm going to use barriers because I can. Basically, there's any block that can hold things up that is not extremely noticeable and won't cover this uh, stair. Because on top of said polished deep said stair, you want to place said barrier. And then, basically, on top of this 3x3, three three, you'll just place a, uh, well, 3x3 three three of white carpet. Not exactly there. Or there. What? Twice, really? Anyway, in the f at the front here, you want to take the middle, which are these two red concretes, basically like kind of splitting the car entirely down the middle, and you'll place two red nether brick slabs just like that, and then left and right you can place red carpet. At the back, you'll place a mangrove trap door on top of the left and right red concretes, and then if you look again at the front of the car, you can place birch buttons at the um sick. At, uh, on the fronts of the two, or the left and right red concretes, like so. Clear your inventory, and you want to get out grass path. You need the grass path block. It actually might be called dirt. Is it called dirt or grass path? It's dirt path. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm going to get out a shovel because I like the shovel portion easier or better. I just think it's easier. But you do actually still need the block regardless of what you do, so keep that in mind. Because of the buttons. The buttons are a little uh, quirky. Also, you might want oak planks. Because, um, what you want to do is actually, under these oak stairs here, you'll need cobblestone, too. Because under this cobblestone here, you'll basically break under and you'll replace these blocks with cobblestone, or under the oak stairs, it will be oak planks. As you can see, that little, like, eighth or sixteenth of a block is visible, and can't have that. Um, and then, basically, what's going to end up happening is every block... Moving as far forward as your road will end up going, from basically the furthest right oak stair to the, I believe, furthest left smooth stone. Let me confirm real quick. Yeah, to the furthest left smooth stone, that's here, will be dirt path, again, as far forward as you want to go. You'll notice it won't work on the buttons, just kind of leave that for a second, um, because it's weird and stupid. Okay, that also needs to be switched. There you go. So the smooth stone also. It's kind of the cringe step of the video. Well... One side is the cringiest, but it's certainly cringe. How did that happen twice? And then, uh, basically, you run the buttons. You want to make sure that you're as for far forward as you need and that there's no blocks that you want to grasp path still touching the buttons because you actually can... Oh, okay. At least I noticed. Uh, that's always good. 
That's not exactly where that's supposed to go. But uh, you're gonna want to break the grass and just replace it with normal dirt path. For whatever reason, this works. I don't know why. But you'll notice if I say, place an oak, okay, maybe not there. But like, if I press the button, it turns to dirt. So you just can't update it. I don't know why that works. That might not work in uh, Java. I have not tested that. If it doesn't, um, I guess you could use packed mud. Or yeah, packed mud in general. Because that was actually the first thing that I ever did. When I originally made the path, it was there packed mud. Except on the old versions. And so yeah, now that's literally the outside of your house done. Uh, let me check the... Okay, we've been here for... Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, stop recording. Now, this is where the fun begins, and I say that with 100% sarcasm. Uh, you should have a clear inventory right now, and you want to get out. Oak planks. Uh, ooh, yellow wool. Pink concrete. Light blue concrete. Block of iron. Oak stairs, smooth stone slabs, and I guess we'll go birch doors, and I think that's everything you should need for now. I'm probably missing something crucial, probably. And so I can't think of it, gonna pretend it doesn't exist. You may or may not need night vision. Let me check how it actually is looking. Yeah, I think it's manageable. That is a little strange to look at, though. Um, so you do want to come inside, and let me pull up my notes, because my notes tell me literally everything. This is a long note sheet. I guess not actually that long. But you want to come to this kind of pink... Co actually, you need cobblestone. That's the other thing that you would need. That would be pretty helpful. Um, you want to come to this corner of pink concrete here, which is along the yellow wool doorway. It's right here. You can see it's in line with it. And from the back of this, you want to bring it back with two additional cobble. Oak plank. Two cobble. Then left with five cobble. Oak plank. Cobble. And this corner here. Is actually pink concrete on my original. Although that doesn't matter that much. It can be yellow or it can be pink. It doesn't make a difference. Just because I feel like it. Um, you want to take the cobblestones left and right of the garage door here, and you want to bring them each kind of, you could bring them back by tour, you could just leave a one block out and place another, it really doesn't matter. Um, and then what I do from here there is bring each oak plank here in with an oak stair, and just to get it out of the way, I'd fill in this floor with smooth stone slabs, because that's an annoying thing, and it's a slab floor, and I know that's unfortunate, but, oh well. Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part, although I'm still a little bit sick. I don't know if it's noticeable in the sound of my voice, but you might notice, like, I don't know. There's more freaking gaps or something like that. Anyway. You want to come to the second yellow wool right of the doors. That's this one. This is all based off the uh, front, by the way. I don't know if I, I might have just said that, although I'm saying it again. You want to bring the bottom cobblestone here back with five yellow wool. I'm bringing... Every floor, I'm making every block in the floor the actual block that you'll need it to be for the walls, except for the cobblestone, that'll end up being pink concrete, because you can actually see this cobble, that's why I did that. Um, and come back to the cobblestone corner, that's this one here, and you want to count back by three, and left by one, and you want to place a yellow wool. Bring it back with an oak plank. Seven yellow. Then go left with two yellow. Oak plank. Three yellow. And then forward with six yellow. Oak plank. Yellow. And then you'll connect back to the right. So again, not, nothing crazy happening here. The oak planks are doorways, by the way, in case that wasn't clear. Uh, you want to... You want to come back to this door that I'm actually kind of already on. It's the first oak plank that we placed in that room we just made. Uh, it's just one of the, kind of the front right of it. And you want to count back by one and then go right with a yellow wool, two blocks of iron, where was I? five yellow wool, then you'll go back with, where was I part two? Four yellow wool, Iron, 
yellow. That's a pink concrete. Sick. See, it's still not right. Then you'll go left with a yellow, then two iron, and then you'll place four additional yellow. There's two rooms laid out. We're moving along swiftly. You want to come to the back right-hand corner of that room we just made? That's this corner. It's kind of near the two doorways. You'll bring this right with four yellow, an iron, and then three yellow. Now, you also want to take this kind of front right-hand corner of that room, and you'll just connect it right with yellow wool. So that's kind of starting to mark things off. So you want to come to this, um, the kit, the door at the back of the kitchen, which is this right room. It says one singular block of iron, and you want to leave a three block gap moving back. So you'll notice you'll be in line with this corner here, and you want to place a yellow wool there. You'll then bring that left with, hold on. Oak plank, five yellow, block of iron, two yellow, then you go back with three, left with one, then an iron, then two yellow. Hold on, I just lost where I was entirely. You want to then bring this. Wait, hold on that. Sorry, I just lost everything. And then you want to bring it forward with three yellow. Sorry, I lost my place and then I was trying to find it. It wasn't actually that bad. Anyway, that's the uh, elevator. That will be the elevator in a second here. You want to take the middle of this row of five in between that block of iron and that oak plank along this wall. And you'll take this, again, this middle yellow. And you'll bring it back with a pink concrete, a block of iron, and then a five pink concrete? Yes, five. So, from the back corner of the kind of elevator area that we have right now, it's this random indent. You'll take this, again, this back right corner, and you'll go back with six yellow, and then a block of iron. You'll then count forward three from this door, so that it'll be this block here. And you'll take this yellow wool, and you will bring it left with five yellow, and then forward with one. So that will end up giving your elevator a four by three space. And you actually want to turn that into a three by two, so double layer the left wall and the back wall. It's kind of random, but it makes sense later. That's your layout done. That was really easy. Um... So kind of the floors should hopefully logically make sense as to what they should be. Basically, everything is oak except for like five rooms. So I'll just start at the back with showing you here. <coughs> Actually, under this birch door here, um, the kind of like back door, this will be a block of iron under it or should be. So anyway, this back left room should be uh, iron. The room right of that should be iron. Uh, obviously, the little 3 by 2 for the elevator should be iron. Well, not obviously, but it should be. Um, and then move forward from this, the bathroom, which is this long room. And you'll skip over the hallway, and then the uh, dining room and the kitchen should both also be blocks of iron, which are those two rooms. So you can see where I place blocks of iron. There's also, obviously, that back corner there. All those rooms are blocks of iron, and every other room is oak blanks. And so it's pretty simple. So I also took notes of the doorways, because, you know... We will have to end up breaking into the that floor for the grave, I think. I don't know why I said I think. It, it is for the grave. But, yeah. I'm going to start with all the blocks of iron floor. That seems logical enough. And then the walls will be brought up, and then we'll have a fun time. Not looking forward to this interior. Although this one's actually not terrible. Like, these, these might be shorter parts than pre-alpha, because pre-alpha was a fat one. Like... That's, I think, the difference between Alpha 1 and Pre-Alpha for me that I kind of am noticing now. Pre-Alpha seems so much fatter. Like, I mean, yeah, this isn't really a small layout. 
But this is not pre-alpha size, you know? Like, this feels a little bit smaller. And the rooms that are here that are similar to pre-alpha are smaller rooms. Like, pre-alpha had massive rooms. Also, floor two is going to be a nightmare. I can probably guarantee that right now. I'm not looking forward to floor two. But, uh, yeah. Also, again, I apologize if my brain cells aren't working. I also, for some reason, one of my teeth is hurting, and that really is annoying to talk, which I hadn't noticed until I started recording, so I'm like, well, this will be fun. So, yeah, I literally don't know why. I don't even know which one it is. I can just feel it. So, I guess, yeah, apologize. But also, you know, brain cells are generally hard to come by. So, today be no different. Just like that sentence. What the heck? Okay. Um... I love hitting the minecart, it's crazy. Uh, you wanna bring every block- Oh, you didn't even need light blue concrete, that's for the second floor, I'm dumb. Uh, is the entire- Okay, literally like the entire second floor is gonna be light blue, good to know. Um, but you're gonna wanna bring every wall up with four of its respective materials. So where there's yellow wool, it'll be yellow wool. Where there's pink concrete, it'll be pink concrete. Where there's cobblestone, it'll also be pink concrete. Now, any doorway, which is- <coughs> Sorry. Either one or two blocks, I don't know what you're doing right now, but thanks anyway. Um... A PlayStation notification. You'll you'll place uh the top two rows will be also placed over those, so you have actual doorways that doors would fit in. Well, doors would fit in one by threes, but you know what I mean. Fit snugly. Are there carpets in Alpha One? I literally get no. There is on the second floor. I know that. Although I'm trying to think if I have to be prepared for that. I mean, I'll look at it. Obviously, I'm not gonna give you like I'm not gonna just blindly guess. I wouldn't do that. Hopefully not. Ooh, that doorway is gonna screw me up. Because it's like in a corner. And we'll also... I'll worry about the doors in a minute here. Because I don't know the directions of the handles, and I'm gonna get really annoyed if I don't get them right. So, I'm gonna just like wait a second here. To do this. I'll probably take a pause after this, and then check them or pull up the mecha mechanic i'm gonna use to check them sure we'll go with that i'm literally just gonna pull up my pc account again because that seems like a really uh valid way to do this anyway um i'm gonna talk about the uh, elevator command although i'm probably not gonna get going to well i might show it or that might be that might actually have to be saved for next part, although I'll talk about it a little bit later when we are in the general area. Although I will say right now, um, I think a ladder should work, although I have to confirm that. That'll be more important when we get to the second floor. I'll actually make sure that it works, because I'm not sure if they line up, but I think the colors of the walls are different, which is why I was, like, having a fit with it. <clears throat> anyway, there are all your walls brought up. Now, I'm not gonna tell you to, oh yeah, there's also these two, uh, cobblestones up front here. When you do these cobblestones, would I... Yeah, I would connect them together above the uh, garage door like that. Just to do it. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's your layout laid out. Crazy. We're gonna see how long we can last before my account disconnects. It seems to do that every, like, 12 seconds. I really don't know why. It's a LAN game. It's not that hard to connect to. Anyway, for the doors, we're gonna start with the garage. And the one at the right side of the garage, you'll place a door with a handle facing backward. At the back of the garage, you'll face one that faces ironically back towards that door, so not that side, but the left from my perspective, right if you're at the front. Every door is from the outside of the room, by the way. If it's in between two rooms, uh, still outside the room, that I say it belongs to. I think that's a fair, fair judgment. Obviously, this double door doesn't have anything. This one at the, the gravestone, actually, let me just check all three doors, because we might have some interesting things going on here. Um, okay, really? Are you really gonna be that way? Okay, it is going to be that way. So, this door at the um, right side will have the handle facing forward. This one, it'll face backward. And the back one, it'll face right from my perspective, which is from the back side. Let me confirm that. And I'm gone. That's crazy. Wait, hold on. Okay. Um, come to the back here, and the uh, bathroom door has the handle on the right. The bedroom door has the handle on the left. So, it's these two doors that face towards each other. I'm telling you, man, like, 
I literally, before I even started recording this, I went to do something for like 15 seconds and I got disconnected because I moved once. Every time I move, I think I'm going to get disconnected, which is going to become a problem, but you're just going to get that message a lot, which is unfortunate. Um, okay. Inside. Hold on, wait. Left? Right. Okay. So inside the um, dining room, you want to see the kitchen door at the back left here. Back right here, sorry. That'll be a handle facing forward. Uh, at the back side of the kitchen, which is this door, will be facing... I want to say I just said it was facing left, like that. Double confirm. Yep. Uh, between the uh, bedroom and the kitchen, this one... or Sorry, not the kitchen, the bedroom and the bathroom. This will be a door from the bedroom side you're placing it, and it will have a handle facing forward. That kind of, okay, I forgot this, sick. Um, that kind of, like, doesn't really matter which side you place from, just know the handle faces forward. And then at the back here, it faces, um, what direction? It faces back, that's crazy, I never would have guessed. Is that all your doors? I think that's all your doors, because that doesn't have a door, the elevator. Yep, that's all the doors, nice. Let's just start punching rooms out, and I actually am going to start at the back left with the furnace room, because I really don't want to, because uh, I'm already back here, actually, well, I'm in the bathroom, but let me go to the furnace room. I opened a door, is it going to cry? Okay, it didn't cry too hard. Uh, clear inventory and get out black concrete. Monster spawner. You're going to slowly see that get used more and more in these Hell Neighbor builds. I don't know where it is, though. Oh, there it is. Um, nether brick walls. Mangrove trap doors. Oh, hey, look, they're back again in this video. You might see them again. Probably not. I literally don't know. Um, uh, mangrove fence, and it will go bone blocks, and actually that's not it, but whatever. I don't know why I said whatever. Hold on, let me find bone blocks. There we go. And mud brick walls, and I believe that's everything. Did that go. It's a rare sight. Um, so. We're gonna go to the back left-hand corner, and you're gonna count right by two. Here you wanna place two black concrete moving up. Take the top block, bring it right by one. And below that, you're going to place a monster spawner here. Before you, But before you do that, I would break this block of iron on the floor and replace it with another black concrete. Just so it kind of has more sidiness to it, because that's a word. Um, anyway, off the right or top of every black concrete and or monster spawner, you'll place another brick wall like that. Bring the furthest left one up an additional one. And then right at the top black concrete, you'll place a mangrove trap door, and you will kind of open it up against that like that. So it'll, it, that's the valve, and then you, you know, turn to freeze the poor guy, the poor shark upstairs, which... Is it a robot shark in Alpha 1? I actually don't know. I know it is an obviously, full game, but I don't know if it is in Alpha 1. I feel like it should be. Otherwise, that is probably illegal. Um, anyway... From the uh, left black concrete, the first one that you placed, you'll go four diagonally to the left, with a mangrove fence, and then you can just bring it up by three. Whoopsies. Then you can go from that mangrove fence, you go four diagonally to the left of the bone block that faces up. You'll bring it up one, then you'll bring it up with a mud brick wall, then go back with a mud brick wall, and up with another mud brick wall. Now, this is where this room. Hold on, let me check something. Okay, because there's some weird things that'll happen here. With the ceiling, I'll probably actually just leave gaps for that, but I'll I'll just like throw out there that it's a thing when it gets there because the ceiling's in line with this and it's upside down slab, so basically there's gonna be gaps above these. I'm not gonna fill them in because of the second floor. Um, the second floor will kind of tamper with that a little bit. Probably gonna disconnect every room, isn't it? But also there's lighting and stuff to worry about later, so we do have to actually do it for some, uh, which I can give you I guess the numbers. If need be. Or the blocks, I mean. Uh, come into the bathroom, which is just, like, literally through this door here. And you want to clear inventory and get out Acacia Blanks. Uh, warp Button. White Carpet. Smooth Court Stairs. Smooth course blocks. Oak trap door. Iron bars. And we'll go, I guess, stone slabs. No, I said I guess. 
Uh, yeah, we'll worry about all the lighting at the end, I guess. That's a little bit more annoying because we'll have to bounce around more, but it, it'll make more sense. Um, at the back window, the below the, or I guess in front of the right pink concrete here, you'll place an acacia button with a warp, or acacia plank with a warp button on its front face and a white carpet on top of it, not on top of the button. Can you even do that? Wait, I want to test this. Oh my god, you can. This is revolutionary. Anyway, um... You want to, from that acacia plank, you'll leave a two-block app moving forward from it, or I guess a uh, one-block app if you are really like like that button. You'll place an opposite on smooth court stair facing left. You'll need a placeholder, because you need a placeholder anyway for this step. Because you want to place one right of that that is an opposite on stair facing right, like that. So they kind of create a, um, almost a bowl. Bring the back stair up with a smooth quartz block, and bring the, I guess, front stair up with an oak trap door, because that's how we oriented that. It's like that. Corner is not a button on the right face of the this there's not cool. Alrighty. Now for the fun part, which is the shower. I don't or kind of the shower bath mix type of thing. Anyway, from the front uh, left hand corner, you want to count to the third block of iron back, that's this one, and you'll place a smooth court stair facing back. Bring it back with a stair facing left and then a stair facing forward. That front stair, the first one we placed, will bring it up with an iron bar and then a stone slab, and that's your really bad shower. This design is, like, different in a bunch of them. I think the pre alpha one was iron... No, that was it iron trapdoors? It might have been. No, I don't think it was. I think, um... But I feel like I've used a different, like, shower head design for all of them. I think in the museum, it's just a whole different thing for Hell Neighbor, too. I'm not positive, though. It's just a re revolving door of concepts. Coming to the furthest back right room, and that's this little bedroom, which is literally, again, through the door. I would hate having a, a bathroom with three entrance points, by the way. That would just suck. <coughs> it's not to point that out. Anyway, you want to get out smooth quartz blocks, polished black stone buttons, green beds. Are the beds really green, or did I just pick green because I thought it'd be funny? I feel like they're not green, but whatever. Uh, mangrove doors, if you have a problem, change it, I guess, I don't know. And mangrove slabs. Come to the back left-hand corner of this room, which is the, uh, yellow-pink merge with the back. It, it It's gonna be a left side, basically, with the pink-yellow merge. And you'll place a smooth quartz block with a polished blackstone button off the right face. The windows are also on the right of the room, in case that helps. Bring that smooth quartz block forward with two green beds that have the, um, pillow sides against the pink concrete wall, like that front right hand corner you want to make a closet so again do this as you would like but my way of doing it is in this corner block i'd place a mangrove door like that and it, so that way you know it's not going to actually block this door if you have it open and then you know because you can't place one in, on that block again i just place one sticking out from behind with the, another mangrove door and then a mangrove slab on top that was really badly explained but it, it gives you this you can see if i also open them like what kind of happens here that should probably help more than anything. The direction of the handles isn't insanely important. Unless you really want to be, like, specific with it, then sure, it matters. But for me, I'm like, whatever. And again, you could technically do it this way, but then that happens, and that'd be a really funny prank. But, you know, I don't particularly prefer that. In the hallway, I think the entire hallway we can basically slap out in, like, 15 seconds. We already have the materials. Kind of. Because there isn't a uh, thing. But you want to get out an addition... Uh, let me make sure my account didn't disconnect. Okay, cool. You want to get an addition armor stands. I One of the things I just can't ever find. I really don't know why. Oh, there they are. And... Paintings. Is the only paintings in the... On the first floor? It's weird. Anyway, along this wall here... Um, you're gonna want to make another closet design, except this one you have, uh, three sides you're gonna place doors on. And you're gonna basically leave this block open. You can see why I just placed that smooth course block. It's this kind of middle block along this wall. Leave that open, place mangrove doors on every other side, and then a little mangrove slab on top again. That's just how I did this one. Because you can't place a, uh, mannequin here one block more out, you'll place a mannequin facing towards that. And the pose will be not holding a painting, preferably. Hello, can I have that back, please? Thanks, bro. Oh, right, I can't crouch now doing that. His pose will be where the right arm is sticking out and the left arm is doing nothing, which is this pose. Is it that pose? No, it's not that pose. It's one more pose. 
Nope, 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 no. That one, where the right arm's kind of sticking in front of the body, and then the left arm is just chilling there. Sick. Okay. I turned around so fast, I did a full 360. That's crazy. Um, come to the double door here where there isn't actually any doors. <coughs> yeah, and now the yellow will directly left from my perspective. This, I guess going towards the mannequin, but the second one, you want to place a one block painting. This one I have as the kind of green, green slug guy with the coffee cup. That's this guy. I know, great, uh, greatly specific. Anyway, um, on the third yellow wool to the other side of it, that's the right, it's this block right here, you'll place another one block painting, and this one will be the black and white one that has, like, a triangle, it's this one. See, it has a triangle, and it's black and white. I'm very descriptive with these, in case you can't tell. Um, divert your attention to the back wall and come to the third yellow wall. And all these are, by the way, at eye height. And it's this block right here. You'll place another painting. And it's the kind of yellow one surrounded by the white with the with the white frame. That one. I, why have I gotten such good luck all of a sudden? What? That doesn't happen. Anyway. Uh, you'll walk around the hallway here. And if you have two yellow wool here like I do, then, you know, this is cool. Um, but it's basically going to be in line with the end more yellow wool. But if you have three, it'll be the middle. And I'll place another mannequin. Same posture as the last guy with the arm in front and stuff. That Can I have that back? Thanks. Um, and it'll kind of face towards the entrance almost. It'll face... It'll face so if you turn this corner, you'll get jump scared, which is definitely the intention. I like how the second floor, there's like one here in the hallway up. Like the hallway that's right above this, ironically. There's one like right here. So you turn the corner. It's gotten me a couple of times. Can't even lie. Like, credit where it's due, scary. Um, but yeah, oh, that uses a- Okay, that's cringe. Wait, that's really cringe. I'm gonna change that, because we have the material, too. So, you have this yellow wool wall that sticks out right here by the kind of entrance. It, it is buried by the entrance. Along the back block of this, you'll place off the left A smooth course block with a polished black stone button on its left face, like that. I have this as a spruce button, don't know why. And that's really annoying. Uh, let's do one more of these because we can. In the um, next room over, you'll come to not the front block, not the second, not the third, but the fourth, and you'll place a smooth course block with a polished blackstone button on the left face. Let me do a painting check real quick because I see one in this room. I think, okay, there's one in here. Is there any in the kitchen? I did not expect so, okay. I know there's none in here. I know there's none in there, okay. Okay, that's pretty simple. Um, so what you want to do is, now this is a one block above our height, so the third block up, you'll kind of count to the second block back. That's this uh, yellow one. It'll be, again, the black and white one with the triangle. Oh, here goes my luck. Oh, here it goes. Oh, all down the drain. Oh, no. Oh, this is terrible. Bro, give me it. There we go. And then there's one more in the kitchen, or sorry, the uh, dining room, along the middle of the left wall, which is also the triangle guy. Please actually give me luck this time. I really got three of the same painting. I'll get it, guys. I'll get it. Oh my god, what is this luck? There we go. At least when I was actually trying to explain them before, it was like giving me them. That's good. I respect that. Anyway. Because I'm already in here. I'm going to do the... It's a little bit quirky. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the uh, dining room while I'm in here. So get out. Or clearing room tour and get out. Spruce stairs. Uh, what color is that? Mangrove fence and red carpet. I couldn't tell if it was mangrove or crimson. But it is mangrove. So, in this room, uh, come to the back doorway, and just left of it, you'll place a spruce stair. You'll bring it forward with two mangrove fences, and you'll bring either of those fences left and right by one each. Off the front right block, you'll place a stair to the right that faces left. And off of the, uh, front left, you'll place a stair facing back that is in front of it. Place red carpet on top of your mangrove fences, like that. There's, like, literally already four rooms done, and then we'll kind of keep sweeping along, although I'm gonna take a, like, 40 second break.
I think it is time to do the most inventory heavy room, and that is the kitchen. I'm so excited for this. I'm literally shaking right now. I'm so excited. Not really. Anyway, um, before we actually clear our inventory, unless you already did, in which case, tough luck, but you need the spruce stairs. That's all I really want for right now. And from the front left hand corner, you want to count back one, and you want to place a spruce stair facing right. From that, you want to count back diagonally to the right part. I want to place another spruce stair, that one facing forward. I don't know why. There's kind of just two chairs having a meeting over here. Kind of just happened. Anyway, clear your inventory and get out cyan concrete. Uh, a lot of other materials. Brown carpet is one of them. Black carpet's another. Levers are another. Light blue terracotta, I'm going to stop saying, is another. Waxed, oxidized, cut copper stairs. It doesn't actually have to be waxed, because it's already oxidized, but I just like getting waxed anyway. Um, smooth quartz blocks. That sounds really weird out of context. Birch doors, and I guess we'll go spruce trap doors. That seems fair. Okay, so we're going to kind of reverse our orientation. The window now will be at the left side, which also, this window's off-centered now. Um... You can make this three blocks. I actually originally had this three blocks. I only switched it to four because I wanted it four. Um, because I've that was the kind of thing that I ended up switching a lot of the um, house uh, three block windows to four blocks. So I was like, let me just switch it to alpha one too. Doesn't exactly work because I obviously already had the math the way that it was. But you know, do what you want with that information. Anyway, from the I guess now front left hand corner, which is this corner over here, you want to go right with four cyan concrete. And then a smooth quartz block. Bring that smooth quartz block up. I want to place a birch door on the front face. The handle should be facing left like that. On top of this, you want to place a spruce trap door and you want to open it up. On top of the smooth quartz blocks, I should say. Bring it left with a cyan concrete. A waxed oxidized stair. Copper stair. And then another cyan concrete. In this kind of, I guess, back left corner, you'll place a light blue terracotta. You'll bring it right with a brown carpet, a black carpet, and a brown carpet. You'll take this cyan concrete below that light blue terracotta, you'll bring it back by four, and then you'll place, going back here, a brown carpet, lever, two brown carpets. The lever should have the handle so that it is um, going left. Or I guess, yeah, it'll be going left so it goes towards the window. At least that's how I have it. It doesn't entirely have to be that way. That's just my personal preference. Anyway, uh, clear inventory and get out flower pots and warped trap doors. And you want to place where you have the black carpet kind of in front of that cyan concrete. You'll place a warp trap door and you'll open it up into that uh, concrete. And then right at the uh, bottom smooth quartz block here for the fridge, you'll place a flower pot. I don't know. It's just there. Okay. We've got, I think, two rooms, three rooms left. But who's counting other than literally everybody? That room is literally entirely blocked off. Hold on, let me just, like, get disconnected. Oh, no, I didn't actually get disconnected. I'm about to, though. I can feel it. Oh, there's a painting in here. Interesting. I forgot there was one. That stair's just gone. Okay, it's back. Um, Coming to the uh, grave room, which is the furthest left room that isn't the garage. It's this one. And you want to get out... Podzel, uh, crimson trap doors, <coughs> spruce stairs, paintings, beehives, which you can actually do a lot with this inventory set, thankfully, and we'll go spruce fence. Um... There's a couple other things that can also play into this, which I'll talk about in a second here. But uh, at the left and right doors, you'll just place spruce stairs that are, you know, facing inward from them like that. And then in the back right corner, you'll place another spruce stair facing forward. To keep the corner trend going, in the back left, you'll just place a beehive. If you want the little, like, notch to be facing back, then by all means do it. I think it looks better that way, although I really don't try anymore because it's not worth my time. In the direct middle of this room, you'll have a one-block center, and you, you want to find it and break it. Break one forward and backward from it. So basically, it's two blocks off the off of each wall, actually. And then you'll place Podzel in that. Now, before you actually do anything else with that, if you want to break under that and, you know, put, like, 
a chest or something or a barrel for a coffin. Uh, and then, you know, have the teacher mannequin and all that stuff in there. Go for it. I'm not here to show puzzle stuff. I'm just here for the main stuff. Although puzzle stuff will end up being in Revived. Uh, hopefully. Maybe not next update. It depends on how that works. Anyway, you want to take the back pods on. You're bringing up with two spruce fence. and bring that top spruce fence left and right by one each. At the right wall, in line with the spruce fence, you'll place a painting. So it's actually right here. It's one block away from that spruce stair in the back right corner. You'll place a painting. It wants to be a one or a two by two, excuse me. And this one I have is the the one with the spider. Not gonna get it, am I? That one. I, I don't really know. It's a spider. Um, at the left wall, kind of in line actually with that painting, except along the top half of it, you'll place just two crimson trap doors and you'll open them up against the wall like that. That's where the shovel would reside. Although I don't really have a lot of room for that, as you can see. But yeah, do what you want with that information. That room's done. Uh, you can come to the, um, garage first, actually. We're gonna start in the garage, because I can't. Hold on, let me, uh, maneuver myself over there real quick. Hopefully not getting disconnected in the process. Okay. Um, from the right door, which is this one over here, you you want to leave a one block gap from it, and you want to break this smooth stone slab. Break one in front and break one left of that, like so. So you have a little corner. Or break one forward, one left, like that. That would make more sense. Place beehives in all those, and then in the kind of corner of this, you'll place another beehive moving up. Like so. I actually made a little mistake here, which isn't huge. But uh, it's only infuriating when you try to not make mistakes in tutorials. But I did that very, like... <laughs> off the top of my head, so credit where it's due. Anyway, um, get out spruce fence and you want to come out of the garage, or you already have them out, you're going to come out of the garage. And in front of the smooth course block that's kind of chilling here, you'll place a spruce fence with another one on top of the fence, of the first fence like that. I want you to get out two materials here. Yellow wool and oak stairs. We may not finish the staircase here. We most likely won't finish the staircase here. But. Also, I actually get on an iron door. At the back right hand corner. It's two blocks? It is. It is two blocks, right? Yeah, it is. In the back right hand corner, you want to <coughs> not break your floor, preferably. And you want to count four by one and place a yellow wool. We a, we'll place an iron door and then another yellow wool. Now, the iron door wants the handle facing right, so you do want to place this yellow wool with that kind of... Because then you want to bring that left with an additional four yellow wool. So you have a total of five. And then you'll place rows of yellow wool on top of that to get short in the previous row, including on top of that door. Until you have... We'll call it four. Because, again, I don't exactly... Well, I do. I can literally look at the number. But I'm not going to kind of go crazy with that right now. I'll worry about the door in a second. On top of each kind of yellow wool here, on the at least sloped part of it, you want to place oak stairs that face back. Behind those, place oak stairs that face left, and that will give you a full-fledged staircase so you can actually walk up. It should be in line with the dark oak right now. Is that actually where we want it, or do we want it lower than that? Okay, we actually do want it to stop there, which that's that's cool odds. I like that. Um, yeah. Do I want you to clear inventory yet? No, there's one more thing I want you to do. Next to the iron door, you want to place two beehives, and then one on top of the left one. In the front right-hand corner, you'll place two beehives moving back, like that. And again, if you want to be specific with the notches, go for it. Like that. Clear inventory once more and get out. Oh, look, there is a carpet on the floor here. That's crazy. Get out oak signs. Birch signs. Gray concrete if you want it. Well, you'll, you'll see why that... You'll see why I say that. Uh, glow ink sacks. Lime dye. Spruce planks. Item frames, white stained glass panes, and I guess we'll go dark oak buttons. Which I'll actually jump into the garage for a second once we uh, 
use all of these to their fullest extent. So above the iron door, you want to place a birch sign. Go down a line and you want to write EXIT in all caps. Left click once with lime dye, once with glowing sign. I guess right click if you're on PC, but it's left click for a controller. So you want to basically pretend like you're placing. What I did was right at the um, top of the door, I broke this yellow one and replaced it with the gray concrete. And also over the... I don't know, I think this is a mistake, but I'm going to tell you the way that I see it right now. Over the top block of the door, I went on the first line, and the last line I placed O, and then I believe it's 22 spaces. It's not 22 spaces. That's 21, that's 20. So it's 19 spaces? Let me confirm that with the last line. It's 19 spaces between O's, which are at the, fir at the, as the first and the last of those lines. And at the, on the top side, I did that. On the bottom side, I did not do this. And I feel like there was a reason for that. Probably. So I'm going to leave it that way. Anyway, on top, of, <clears throat> on top of this lone smooth quartz block here, you'll place a spruce plank. And on top of the spruce plank, you'll place a dark oak button. It, it's kind of cool if it's left to right like that, or front to back like that. <clears throat> on the left side of this spruce plank, you'll place an item frame with a white stained glass pane in it. Because I said it, jump to the garage real quick, and along the top row block of quartz, you'll place dark oak buttons. Like that. Just because I really want to use the buttons while we have them. Clear your inventory and get out. We're just going to get out to finish this room real quick. White carpet. Green carpet. Cyan wool. And smooth sandstone slabs, which we're going to use for the full blocks as well. Which I actually don't think I did on the original. No, I didn't. Um, I think I'm to the center of the window, but the window doesn't have a center. Come to the left or more center block of this window, and you want to come to the third oak plank back, and you want to place a green carpet. Bring it back with a white carpet, and then surround that white carpet further with green carpets, except for the diagonal. So it kind of gives you almost a flower. Bring the leftmost green carpet left with a smooth sandstone slab, and bring that slab forward by one. Bring that smooth sandstone slab left with a smooth sandstone block, and then place smooth sandstone slabs on top of the blocks. I, you, I would recommend you use smooth sandstone slabs for that whole thing if you're in Bedrock, because of the fact that um the whole tint thing, it's stupid. But uh, in front and behind this couch, I'll just place two cyan wool kind of in line with the, or I guess parallel to the smooth sandstone like that. It looks really weird from an overhead. I don't know why. It just does not look right. Anyway. Uh, come into your garage and you want to clear your inventory and get out before we do the ceilings. We have uh, a couple things to do here. Oak slabs. Birch trap doors. And stone. Now, the pink concrete framing that I told you to do at the front here, you actually want to get rid of this and replace it with stone. Um, I did not realize it was like this, I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah. Don't break the outside walls, that would not be exactly ideal. Just like that. And then, kind of above the corners of the garage, you want to bring these two stones back by three and then connect the back ones together. One last thing in here, along the right wall, you'll have five blocks to use. Break the middle three smooth stone slabs and place opposite on oak slabs in their place. Above the oak slabs, place two birch trap doors above each oak slab, and you want to open them up against the wall, and then place oh, normal oak slabs above that. I would recommend having the birch trap doors face towards each other so the uh, handles kind of are in the middle, like so. Now, the fun part, which is the ceiling. So... To start off with the ceilings, you want to get out polished deep slate slabs, sea lanterns, and lanterns. Now, I'm going to tell you what rooms have sea lanterns, and then we're going to go from there. I believe actually only two do. Although, wait, actually this one I think also does, so three do. Although I really can't even be positive on that. So, w including the uh, elevator, actually, you want to just fill in all your roofs with uh, 
polished deep slate slabs, upside down polished deep slate slabs in line with the top block of the walls that we have. So it's basically before the row before the stripped oak. Like this. And I'm going to do it in every room. I was going to actually tell you to not do it in the sea lantern rooms, but I don't care. But also with the staircase, I'm going to tell you how this works because this is a fancy man and, you know, it deserves fancy privileges. Um. It basically ends where the staircase starts. So actually. Or the ceiling ends. So basically, you'll go there. I don't really know how to explain that. If you're basically standing on top of these oak stairs and you look up, you want to make sure the polished deep set slabs are to the left of this, like that. That's how that works. There's also more happening, which... I don't know why that's like that. But, um... Yeah, I'm not going to tell you to worry about that for now. Again, because it's useless and a waste of time. Although generally useless and a waste of time do happen to be the same thing. Or happen to... Interlock, I guess? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, man. Too much recording. This actually has not been as brutal as I thought it would be, though. I feel like the pre-alpha interior was longer. So I'm going to actually have to check if I can edit this on PlayStation. Because it might let me. Chances are slim, but they're never zero. Which we always got that going for us. Sick, I just, like, died entirely. Again! Freaking, I blame the elevator for all of this. Because it actually is the elevator's fault. Like, I'm not wrong. Keep slipping into its little crevice. That sounds weird. But, whatever. I gotta sneeze. I hate that. Just, like, sneezed already. Come on. I hate just sitting around being like, I gotta sneeze. Also, I'm going to tell you what other materials you need above the um, lanterns and stuff. Because, you know, it would be cool to have that, I think. Or just be cool to, you know, have that already filled in. Although I can tell you right now, the furnace room, it's polished deep slide that you want above it. So if you want to just take your slabs and make full blocks out of it above these kind of weird walls we got and stuff going on, then sure, go for it. I'm going to like that just because. Although you could also leave it blank and just wait till you actually fill on that floor. That one doesn't particularly matter that much. But we're going to kind of start from the front and work back this time, unlike what we did with the interior. I think that's how people would normally furnish a house, to be fair. From front to back, not from back to front. Well, I don't know. I've never furnished a house. Because it would be logical both ways, if you think about it. I don't know. Uh, you also just should probably just leave this open, because it doesn't matter. That's second floor, and today's first floor, so... I don't know why I just went outside. Okay. In the garage, which is the pink concrete room, I don't think I have to specify that, but I'm gonna specify it anyway. Um, in the center of it, kind of at the back here, you'll have four, uh, polished deep slate here. And you'll take in this middle, or you'll break the middle, too, and just play sea lanterns. You don't really have to worry about anything above those for now. Come out of that room with the door that kind of leads towards the main entrance, which is this one. And not the corner. So basically, you can actually take the corner, though, this polished deep slate slab, um, just outside of that corner like this. And you'll count it right one and forward one, and you'll place a lantern here. And this will actually just be a polished deep slate block above it. I'm going to just use slabs for the blocks because I can. Directly above the white carpet in the living room here, this will also be a lantern. And this will have a dark oak plank above it. That's going to be really annoying to go up and down with. Oh boy, I can't wait. Um, now what's next? In kind of this hallway, actually in line with the... I believe in line... Let me oh, she confirm that. Yeah, in line with the uh, back garage door, except... Up against the yellow concrete wall, there will be a lantern here, and this will have an oak plank above it. I'm going to start breaking the slab to the side of it. Like that. Just keep going on the hallway, why not? At the left side of this room, you'll take the fourth yellow wool forward. That's this one, and there will be, in the center of the hall, another lantern with an oak plank above it yet again. Oak plank will probably be the common one. 
just off the corner of this room, not quite in the corner here, the intersection, but it's kind of like if you take that corner to go back diagonally to the uh, left by one and back one, and this will be an oak plank above it. These puzzles don't really have to be specific, I'm just giving you the specific one. Uh, coming to the grave room, and I believe I know where this one is, although let me confirm that. Yeah, I would have been close enough. Um, it'll be a double, uh, two sea lanterns above the front two puzzles. I even get that. I did get that right. Okay. I felt like it was a block off for some reason. I don't know why. Where you have the um elevator, it'll be not directly in the center, but off of this left corner of yellow wool here, and this will be an oak plank above it. It'll be a lantern. Doesn't exactly help that I'm using sea lanterns and normal lanterns. We got sea lanterns, soul lanterns, and normal lanterns, and one of those is an outcast from the other two, which is kind of funny. Uh, in line with the slug painting here, uh, you'll have another lantern in the middle of this hallway with an oak plank above it. And then we'll backtrack to the kitchen and the uh, dining room. Uh, directly above the mannequin at the end of the hall here, you will place a lantern with an oak plank above it. Because you do need the blocks, obviously. Because you need to place your lantern somehow. Let's come into the kitchen first, because I said so. It seems like a valid reason. Uh, in line with the fridge at the middle block of the kind of five-year-old place, a lantern with an oak plank above it again. Wow, crazy. Trends are set. Like that. And then in the dining room, it will be above the... Not the Q button, above the... Okay, this is kind of a weird one to explain. But it's basically, you want to be at the front side of the table, and you want to be in line with the middle block, and basically above the, above the table, but forward a block from the middle, if that makes sense. You'll place a lantern, so it's there. And I love polished deep set above it. You could make the polished deep set, I, I believe you can make it oak. I need the polished deep slits, if you want to keep it sort of consistent. I'm going to come into the bedroom first, because then it'll get e be easier to <coughs> work around. And um, in between the two windows, and at the second to the left, you'll place... You'll have a lantern here with an oak plank above it. Basically, if it has polished deep set above it, it'll lie either... Uh, the ba the furnace stuff is uh, above the... Bathroom? No, the or below the bathroom, I mean. But everything else, it'll lie just kind of where a wall sits. So it really doesn't matter how it is. Um, or speaking of where a wall sits, coming to the bathroom and a block in front of the middle of the toilet, that's this block right here, you'll place a lantern with a polished deep slate like, above it again. So yeah, this, I believe, resides on a, a wall. Or there might actually be nothing above that at all. I don't know. I think there's a weird gap in the center of the house. Kind of where the um, elevator and the... Security room, although I don't actually know if there is a gap there. And then in the furnace room, it will be... Hold on. I'll get there, I swear. It'll be kind of in this little crevice where the door is, and it'll be just taking up both these right blocks here at the front, like that, two sea lanterns. And, um, yeah, once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the interior for your... The first floor of your Hello Neighbor Alpha 1 neighbor house complete. Thank you guys for watching this video, and hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.